What's up guys, welcome back to AFC Game by Game. This is my preview for the match on Saturday, Arsenal versus Liverpool. Buzzing for this one. I, I, actually, am I buzzing? I'm not sure if I'm buzzing or I'm nervous. I'm excited, either way. Not sure how I'll feel come uh, 8 o'clock on Saturday evening, but it's a game that I am looking forward to all the same. We can take a lot of courage um, and a lot of heart from these two performances that we've put in early on in the season. The 1-0 victory away from home at Newcastle and the 2-1 win at home to Burnley. And I know they're not the most glamorous of performances, but as I've said before, um, we're winning these games with so many first-team players either starting on the bench or being away from the team due to injury. So to get two wins out of two in our opening games of the season, I think is so important and I think it's, it's great that we're doing it with so many absent from the squad, especially whilst we're still finding our feet, finding our rhythm. Liverpool are a team that are sort of doing the exact same. We had three wins out of three, including that rather cagey victory in the Super Cup. Uh, but they are still finding their feet, it has to be said this season. They had an excellent end to the campaign last year. But this, this time around, I mean, they've got three wins out of three, so you can't argue with that. But they looked a little shaky against Southampton, and I do think that they were a bit susceptible to damage. Against Norwich, to be fair, they got a really good win, but they didn't really come out of second gear. Of course, this will probably almost inevitably be the game where Liverpool do click, but I think we've got all the credentials to respond to the threat that Liverpool do pose. We know the danger men they've got going forward, Mane, Salah and Firmino. And uh, of course, if Firmino scores in this game, it's his 50th goal in the Premier League, I believe, or 50th goal for Liverpool. So you just you just know that's going to happen in this match. But but let's not be negative. I think we've got, we've got the capabilities to quell the threat that Liverpool have got going forward. It's... Um, it's going to be hard to, to stop them scoring, it has to be said. But defensively, I do still think um, we're looking a lot more sharp than we were last season. And uh, I do think there were a few occasions against Burnley last weekend, especially in the aerial duels, especially on corners and set pieces, where I was really quite terrified of Ashley Barnes. Um, and that will be uh, potentially a problem from corners in this game because we know Van Dijk, Matip, um, Joe Gomez, these players are going to be very dangerous from corners. But apart from that, Liverpool are a team that like to play on the floor quite a bit. So... Yeah, I think David Luiz is the perfect candidate to start in the hard defence. Who starts alongside him is another question entirely. Socrates has been the the key fixture in this Arsenal defence, so I'm pretty sure he'll be the one to remain in there. I do think Emery was getting a feel for what those two could do in the game against Burnley last weekend, and I think they'll continue to play together this weekend. But I think Callum Chambers is going to feel very aggrieved having put in a, a spirited performance against Newcastle and now will have to sit out his second game on the bench. But there there is a very slim chance that he'll start in this match. I'd be more than happy for him to start. And I do think that Louise and Chambers and eventually when Holding gets back, one of those two, Holding or Chambers alongside Louise, has the potential to be a very exciting partnership. Louise's passing out from the back against Burnley was, was fantastic at times. And I do think it gives us that less reliance on someone like Granit Xhaka and means we could uh, means we could play midfield two of Torreira, Ceballos or Torreira, Willick, Torreira, Guendouzi. Um, so I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm excited by the prospect of David Luiz starting a second game in an Arsenal shirt. Uh, the rest of the defence picks itself, Leno in goal and then uh, the full-backs in Monreal and maitland Niles. you would assume, unless Kolasinac starts this game, which given Monreal's start to the season, um, I wouldn't drop him personally. I think he's been very, very solid and uh, be interested to see he'll get a proper test now against someone like Salah who's in his peak. So that'll be interesting. Hopefully it pays off for us. But in the midfield, Field is, is certainly where things get interesting from an Arsenal point of view. Um, I put a tweet out on Twitter, uh, I put a poll out in fact, and um, with Guendouzi and Willock both playing so well, uh, it's really hard to call. Do we want to go into this game with more senior heads? Do we want to play Jacko Torreira Ceballos as a midfield three, or do we want to continue to put faith in the young players we've got and potentially risk them having a bad game, being exposed possibly in a match of this magnitude against the likes of Jordan Henderson, Fabinho, where... It could go one or two ways. They could be in a style of performance. They could have a pretty, um, pretty, pretty dire game. It, it's really hard to call. But I put out a tweet, uh, a poll, as I say, um, asking should we play uh, Guendouzi, uh, Willock, or play them both, or neither? And the player that actually came out with the most votes uh, at 31% was Joe Willock. Um, and I, I, I'm completely in agreement with that, to be fair. If we start a midfield three of Torreira, Willock, um, and Ceballos, I think that's that, that's a very, very exciting midfield three. Um, Guendouzi came in, in next with 26%, and honestly, um, yeah, I mean, that's not too far off off Joe Willock, so I think it will be one of them two that starts this game, and I have this just this sneaky feeling that um, Guendouzi will start this match, I just think Emery really seems to favour him. Um, only 20% went for both, and 23% went for neither, so that was the third most popular, but obviously, the, the clearly the two most popular were 
having one of the two starts. So, yeah, I think it will be a case of uh, I hope Emery will go with with what you know we're all thinking um, and play one of Willock or Grunduzi instead of playing them both. I just think it's it's a game of such magnitude um, to put so much pressure. Um, and, and responsibility on two very young heads, three very young heads if we go with a midfield three of um, Ceballos, Guendouzi and Willock. Uh, I mean, you're looking at a 19-year-old, a 20-year-old and a 23-year-old. It's it's not the most senior of midfield threes. Technically very, very good. Um, but I mean, I just think we need a, an experienced leader in, in the team in this game. Um, I'd be more than happy with Torreira, Willock and... Um, and Ceballos as the midfield three, that probably would be my midfield three of choice. Uh, um, I think Granit Xhaka has a very good case to be starting this game. Um, but I think if we've got David Luiz in the team, we don't necessarily need him in the side as much. Because I think David Luiz can do the same job just from a little bit deeper. And uh, I, I, I'm just really excited by by whatever midfield three... Um, Emery picks. Now going up front this is where things uh, get incredibly exciting. Do we want to go with the all out power driven um, mouth watering trio that is Aubameyang, Lacazette and Nicola Pepe I don't know. Uh, it's a really really tough one. Personally I think I would probably play without and out wingers in this game and I know that he was hooked at half time against, um, against Burnley but I do think Nelson has a lot to prove and this could be the game in which to do it. So Nelson, Aubameyang and Pepe. I just really want to see proper wingers. Um, and I just I don't really have the confidence in Aubameyang to track back to do the defensive stuff as well. Um, so Nelson, I think his work rate is, is, is really good. And I really do think that this could be a game where he could shine. Uh, but I do want to see more from him. I think he was a bit quiet against Newcastle and very quiet against Burnley. Hence why he was taken off at half time. So I'm... I'm that, that would be my, my trio going forward. And then we've got the option of, of Lacazette off the bench. And we've got good options on the bench as well. Um, so, yeah, I, I'm excited for this game. And, yeah, let, let's let's be positive. Um, because I think uh, if we lose this match, it's important not to overreact. If we put in a good performance but we lose, then I don't think we can complain too much about that. Um, we've got six points on the board already. And I know that, obviously, we're incredibly early on in the season. But we have started this season with the right results. Um, so uh, a loss is certainly isn't the end of the world. We're coming up against the Champions League winners, for God's sake. Um, but as long as we put in a good performance, that's what every Arsenal fan wants to see, of course. Uh, but a draw, I'd be really, really happy with. But a win, I'd be elated with. And going forward, we've got all the tools to, to get a win in this game, especially with uh, Alisson being out. Uh, if we take a few shots at Adrian, I definitely think we can we can expose him um, so I'd love to see us take a few chances in this game really start this game coming firing out of the blocks we've got nothing to be scared of whatsoever because we've got all the all the credentials to go and get a couple of goals in this game against a Liverpool team that has looked rather shaky at times this season um, but they'll, they'll, they'll be saying the exact same about us they'll be looking at our defence and they'll be thinking they can get it and they certainly can with Salah, Mane, Firmino, Origi um, but we, we've we got firepower as well so it should be an entertaining game I honestly could see it being a a similar result to the 3-3 we got there a couple of years ago. I hope not because that was really quite um, quite painful on the old old ticker. Uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully hopefully we get a good result. Um, please do let me know your team lineups in the comments box below. Please do drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed it. Subscribe to AFC Game by Game if you are new to the channel. Let's hope for a good result. And I'll speak to you very, very soon, guys. See you later.